Yo, what's good, it's King Kai. The idea of masculinity has been dying because we have a lot of people believing that alpha males are the, the ultimate goal that you need to be, and the idea of alpha male has been replaced with a hedonistic and egocentric pursuit of having a bunch of women, money, clothes, hoes, all that junk, right? And now I'm here to tell you guys that the idea of an alpha male is non-existent because of this reason. Before you dislike my video, shut your ass up and sit down. So let's say, for example, me, when I walk into a gym, um, I'm not the biggest, I'm not the strongest, but I'm at my most confident inside of a gym. It's easy for me to walk into a weight room and just talk to anybody because I've been doing this for thousands of hours. That makes sense? But let's say if I walk into a neuroscience convention or an engineer convention, I'm basically a baby again because I don't know anything. And But that's okay because if I don't know anything, that opens up the, op the doors and the possibility for learning. Now the idea of being an alpha male at all times in every area of your life is simply not feasible because there are going to be a bunch of things that you don't understand. You cannot be the confident alpha male if you don't understand what's going on. If you try to fake it, then you're just an asshole at that point. And I want you guys to understand that it's okay to not be the alpha male. I'm not promoting weakness. I'm not saying that you need to be a little bitch. That's not exact. That's not at all what I want you to do. But what I'm saying is the pursuit that we see online, be a top 1% man, that idea that you need to get a bunch of money, a bunch of women, and a bunch of stuff to be a top 1% man, I just don't agree with it, okay? I've met men in my life who didn't have any of those things, but they have very, very strong characteristics that I look up to, that I highly respect. There's actually, actually people at my job have been, they know that I have a channel, so maybe this guy sees it, but there's a guy at my gym specifically, I'm not going to say his name obviously, but he's very, very strong in his faith, very, very strong in his beliefs, and he is, he's, he, he dates women, but he's never slept with women before, and like he's, he's, my age right and it's so it's interesting because this is a guy that people can relate to or they, they they can speak to this is a guy that women find attractive is he rich no 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 is he tall he's not that much taller than me i think he's like five nine or something i think he's like five nine okay he's not the top one percent he's jacked <laughs> he's, he's definitely jacked but he's not the top one percent man that we see on youtube but he is someone that I highly respect because of his morals and like the fact that he's so strong in his beliefs and his faith. Now, do does that same idea get preached online? No, it doesn't because it's not sexy. It's not attractive to say, oh, stay on your moral, stay on your 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 faith, stay with your beliefs, and stick with that. That's not sexy, that's not attractive, it doesn't get millions of views. But women do, money does, cars do. But that's like the wrong message. Now I want I'm here to tell you guys the video is not gonna be too too long, but I want to tell you guys that please stop consuming so much of the content that makes you believe that you need to get all of this artificial materialistic things in order to be happy. What's the point of the self-improvement journey in the first place? This is not just this is not just to be on self-improvement just to say that you are it's like, like it's a title or some shit this is something that you bring into your life so you can have a better quality of life and i've told you guys this a million times this is so you can have a better quality of life so you can live the life that you want to live for yourself you go to the gym so you can not feel like trash when you walk up the stairs you read so you can not feel stupid and can actually get a chance to earn some more income you speak to people and have social skills because one, that can enrich the quality of your life, and two, it can open up doors and possibilities that you would have had if you stayed a recluse. Does that make sense? So that's why I'm telling you guys, all of this stuff is not so I can get the most bitches, the most money, get like the shiny necklace, all that garbage. That's not the point. It's just so you can become a stronger man in your own values. Literally all of us have the potential to be a top percent man. I guess if you, if you, if you, if you be specific, if all of us became top 1%, then none of us are top 1%, but you know what I'm saying. All of us have the potential to become better, but if we look towards the right the right things, then it's easier to get there. The idea of the alpha male doesn't exist, because the traditional alpha male that we've been taught is, is trash. I want you guys to be strong in your morals, strong in your beliefs, and keep moving forward like Aaron Yeager, okay? If you guys liked the video, I appreciate it. Like the video physically join my discord server in the description and i'll catch you in the next one deuces Five, three, three,